Let me show you how to stream like me. I don't even know where to begin with this incredible device. This is one of those things as a streamer that you didn't realize you needed until you actually have it. I gotta say, the stream deck has changed my life. It's changed the game as a full-time content creator slash streamer. Let's get into this. All right, so this isn't gonna generally be an in-depth tutorial. It's gonna be more so how the stream deck, you know, affects my stream and how it just makes it so much easier in everyday streaming. All right, so first things first, once you purchase your stream deck, you're gonna have to download the stream deck app. In order to, uh, you know, play around with your stream deck and start doing all this cool stuff, putting a soundboard, making hotkeys, all that good stuff, all that juicy good stuff, you're gonna need to download the app first. And everything I show you on this app is a reflection of what's actually on my stream deck. So if you take a look, I'm pressing the buttons on the actual stream deck, the physical stream deck that I could like touch and fiddle with, touching the buttons on it and boom, you see it happening right there real time on the screen. How about that? All right, so you see here, this is OBS. Uh, you know, this shit could get pretty fucking confusing. If you're a streamer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have all your sources, which all ties into scenes, and then all the scenes tie into the profiles. It's just one whole big mess, but you know, it definitely takes some time to getting uh, used to and learning. All right, so this is actually my Stream Deck homepage. You see on the top left over here, you have uh, Stream Deck profiles, and this is my regular Destroyer profile number one right here. And on the top left, right over here, I set up a button called scenes and this is actually a folder that contains all my sources all my scenes on my stream check this out I'm gonna click on this right it, dra it drags me in to a whole nother area this is the folder which is the OBS folder and now I have at the tip of my finger at the tip of my finger with this stream deck I can go to any scene I want you can see it you see cam off you got echo effects we got the uh, the scoreboard. This is actually those of you who do watch my stream. I host tournaments. Sometimes I need to pull up my scoreboard. Check this out. If I want to pull up my scoreboard, I click on that scoreboard button. And what happens? Boom! The scoreboard pops up. If I want to get rid of the scoreboard, I just up the click of a button. Boom! You get rid of the scoreboard. This thing is a godsend to streamers, bro. Uh, I'm gonna just be giving you guys a little run around how I set my stream deck up. You know, if you go out and purchase yourself one and you're like, hey, I want my stream deck to uh, be similar to him. And you see, I have a lot of empty squares. And what does that tell you? I'm nowhere near done. I'm nowhere near finished to optimizing this stream deck to how how efficient you can get this thing to, to be. But, you know, let me uh, give you a little run around of how I keep this thing going. So this incredible device also lets you put custom image icons. So if you wanna, you know, help categorize what your buttons do, maybe a uh, image of, you know, OBS Streamlabs will, will help you out, which I have right here, a picture of the OBS Streamlabs. And as you can see, I click on that, it's gonna bring me to uh, another folder, and that's how I set it up. By the way, if you guys want in-depth tutorials on how to set your stream deck up and how to actually do all this stuff, you could definitely check out the uh, the official Elgato YouTube page, and those guys have complete in-depth tutorials how to go full dive into this stuff. I have a couple multi-switch buttons on the top here, and basically what the multi-switch buttons do, let me click this, open it up for you. So basically what the multi-action, what the multi-switch action button does is it allows you to, it, it allows you to program a button that activates multiple things and that blows my mind you know so at the tip of a button if i go to my commentator uh scene it's gonna go to the actual scene it's gonna turn on my mixer audio and it's gonna turn on my microphone audio and the reason why i have it to do all that stuff is because on my starting soon scene uh actually mutes your audio so then to be able to have a multi-action switch that at the click of a button it turns all your stuff on again it's incredible. You know how many times that saved my life, dude? I'm over here streaming. I'm over here streaming. I got the mic on. I got the audio on. I'm, I'm, I'm cursing up a storm, acting a fool. 
And then I look at the thing, I'm like, oh my god, thank god the stream deck muted all that audio before I even went live. God mode. So, yep, on the top over here, I got the commentary scene, standby scene, gameplay scene, I got a full cam scene. I have a button programmed, a multi-switch button uh, program, basically. Basically, what this multi-action button, button does for my camera is I have it set so when I press it, it mutes every camera from every scene except for the full cam scene and it also it's also programmed so once it clicks it's going to activate the multi switch the other action and then the other action basically re-enables everything so thus making it an on and off button for your camera and you know that really comes in handy too you know if you don't want anybody to see you wada bing and then wada boom I got my echo button. I got a button where if I uh, trigger this one, it turns on an echo effect. That is, you know, comes in real handy. I could activate an echo mid-tournament match, you know, do some crazy stuff happens. I turn on the echo. Ah! We got the scoreboard. We got the gifts, you know, uh, in my, in a couple scenes, you know, I, I have, uh, in one of the scenes, I have all these gifts that could pop up, and with the stream deck, you can set this up to have all your gifts ready at the click of a button. So I'll give you a little example. We'll come over to the uh, the scene where all the action happens, and you know, say you want to start throwing on gifts. Boom! Click of a button. Start throwing out all the gifts you want, and this is all achieved with the stream deck. It makes it so much easier to just have all your stuff organized as a streamer. And it helps out so much, man. Like, I'm not lost. I'm never lost when it comes to streaming anymore. You know what I'm saying? Before, without the stream deck, there'd be times I'm over here maneuvering through my stream. Like, yo, where the hell is this gift? Where the hell is this is this scene? Where where the hell is my, my camera off? Stream deck wipes all those troubles away. So yeah, uh, you know, continuing to go on, I have a button that basically goes to my starting soon scene, my BRB, uh, the ending, got all that set up, you got your, uh, so this is when it gets awesome. This folder right here is actually a folder that is going to start enabling, so, you know, I'm a tournament organizer, I, I, I run online tournaments a lot. So I made a, it's not finished yet, it's a work in progress, but this is just information for you to, to know how far this thing could go. So on the actual stream, uh, on the actual Streamlabs OBS, you can set different profiles. Uh, because as you can see here, let me, let me pull it up. You see, as you can see here, my, uh, my streaming, it's, it's pretty messy. You know, there's way too many scenes and there's just way too many sources within each scene. And that, that's when you have to start utilizing uh, different profiles. If you see here on the spot I clicked right here, uh, I have one set for tournament. So yeah, basically I have another profile set. So when I'm going to start running tournaments, I will, you know, I'll boot up the stream and make sure the profile is set to tournament. That way, uh, <clears throat> distractions such as unwanted, unwanted notifications, you don't want popping up on the stream or, or just stuff like that. You, you would want to set <clears throat> a different profile. So I have a profile right there. It's separate for tournament. So yeah, so then I have a, a whole different folder called tournament scenes within the Streamlabs OBS folder. You click on tournament scenes. Oh, now if I click one of these buttons, it's actually gonna take me to the tournament profile oh, at the click of a button. I don't have to do nothing manually. I don't, well, the only manual thing you have to do is just click the button on the stream deck. That little button right there on the stream deck. So I click commentate scene is going to go switch profiles from streamlabs obs to the tournament profile and it's going to go to the commentating scene in the tournament profile D do you know how crazy that is <laughs> that blows my mind i have buttons set up to uh to activate you know my my merch advertisement i, I you know i got merch merchandise ads i have buttons to you know toggle the merchandise ads you know you click it and then boom you got add one you got add two I got a button for my subscriber videos. Uh, you go back here. I got a. Oh, this is so sick. You know, I got multi, I got a multiple. I got a multiple monitor display setup, right? So usually you want to just have your main monitor on, but if you're gonna be multitasking, like running a tournament, 
you're gonna want to have multi, uh, another monitor you know to drag a, 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 a to drag a, another window to that monitor that way you could like run the brackets there and then focus on your stream on the other monitor i have a button i click that button i can open up my display settings for my monitors and then you can actually switch the displays you could extend the display you could duplicate the display all within the stream deck that took some time to set up you know i'll make another video covering how to how to do that but i'm just telling you the, the type of crazy stuff the stream deck is capable of doing like it's not just stuff gravitated towards your streaming needs it helps with all needs it helps with hotkeys to opening up a game hotkeys to opening up an internet web page you know for instance this a hotkey to change display settings it's insane it's insane mate like i'm in a hurricane if i want to make it sound like you know there's strong winds i only have one one effect for that right now like i said i'm still playing with this beautiful this beautiful stream deck i'm still working on it and here you go uh i got my soundboard i got all this cool stuff i can make pop up ultra combo sound effects the kill bill siren all this crazy stuff and then i got hotkeys to music playlist at the click of a button if i want a music playlist to pop up boom i click on it pops up ggs thank you come again I mean, honestly, man, there, there's just too much that this stream deck is capable of doing. I, myself, I'm still learning. I'm still learning things and, and uh, cool tricks, you know, to, to perform with the stream deck. And I'm going to say, man, this isn't going to be the last video I make on this product. I do want to make more in-depth tutorials on how to do the things that I'm able to do on my stream deck. But I'm sure if you want to get started right now, Elgato, if you go to the official Elgato YouTube page, they will definitely have all the tutorials you need to learn how to start doing this cool stuff. But yo, guys, I don't know what to say, man. It was great chatting with you. It was great showing you, like, some of the cool stuff the, the Stream Deck is capable of doing. And, you know, people who are streamers, people who are getting into streaming, and, you know, they hear about the Stream Deck, and they're not sure whether they should uh, get this, check it out. I was one of those people. I, I thought this device was useless. I was like, what the hell is the whole point? If you could just do all this stuff, you know, with the mouse and keyboard, click here, click there. But until actually having it and using it, oh my god, dude, streaming is actually very enjoyable. It is actually very enjoyable. Anyways, I'm gonna catch you later. Whoa!